All right, we've shut the door on that issue. Shut that door. No more, no more piano for us. <laughs> My fingers starting to hurt that? anyway. But you're not the one that played the piano. No. I know. I do still. I do still keep thinking of that. For, okay, hang on. I'm going to hold that thought because I was about to bring something that Matt was going to laugh at. I need to wait to show off this little puzzle real quick. That now that we put in the actual true seal for, I think this is now the third time that the game is like, hey, take something and replace it with something that looks like it. Yeah. This, I believe, since this came out on the GameCube, I still feel like this is a Nintendo reference. I yep. think it is. A short, like, a short, stout red knight and a lean green knight. Both killing each other. <laughs> exactly what the fan base wow. thinks they would do. I was going to say, this is exactly, this is the Nintendo fandom in a nutshell. <laughs> anyway, so, short sword was going through the green dude's chest, and the long uh, sword was going through the red knight's head. So, thus, we need to treat the clock hands as if they were weapons. And for those wondering why Mar Super Mario fencing is not a thing, that's why. Well, technically uh, wait, it what, is uh, in the Olympic Games. I was going to say, I think there was one in the Olympics. Yeah, they do They do fencing as one of the events. Right, and that's but, really they, but they don't do it with real weapons. No, nah, just little teeny little poke pokes. Anyway, so now we're gonna get uh, another key from this sucker. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking, I was thinking, Matt, just with the whole piano thing. I still remember that freaking video you showed me where the guy just kept super cutting footage of Jill playing the piano and Chris just going through hell and back <laughs> with. Like, oh yeah! On in that I I just just back. Yeah, Jill, Jill. Ah, <laughs> just <get> blasted. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, Surprisingly, God. it still ends with Jill, Jill going down, going down with Wesker. Oh right, because that was a reference to five. Anyway, yeah. so, so all right, we're going up to the spot. I love this little. Now I think about, it, I love this little like quick uh, little t bait and switch. We're going into the spider web encrusted uh, door to fight Black Tiger. I mean, that would make sense, but no, we're st it's still the same as the original. We're still going to fight a giant poisonous snake. Also, how the fuck are you supposed to see that? I don't know, and then Ooh. definitely looks a lot more intimidating here. Oh, but that's the point. <laughs> I saw it coming, and uh, I can't see a thing. Uh, I don't I, I don't blame uh, you. So, I'm just gonna uh, stay inside. Stay inside his little arc and hope he can't reach me from this angle. Uh, right. Also, I I I'm with, not a good snake trainer. Unless I'm mistaken, in the, it's with the remake, where if he does tangle you up, he will do an insta-kill attack. Oh, jeez. I don't know how he hit me from there, but that's probably not good. So I could I could run, except note that you are gonna have to kill him later, and his health does carry over. So I'm trying to do some damage to Come him on. to make that second yeah. boss fight a little easier. Okay. There we go. And there you I'm go. Just just, him off. And unless I'm mistaken, like if you do leave him alone in this section, and you still have to fight him in the next section, he still has his poisonous uh, effects in that one. Oh jeez, that would suck. Yeah. So off he goes. He runs away. Yes, he clips through I've the wall. I've been poisoned though. Oh. Now that and that, actually that poison thing is all—it's also a random chance of if that's going to happen because I've done—I've played this game before where I would get hit and I wouldn't well, actually a, get poisoned. I would just lose some it's health. It's like the G's in the two remake. They uh, like it doesn't always mean that you'll be poisoned, but every now and then you might be poisoned from being hit. But goody, since I have been poisoned, I I do get to show off this little uh, like scenario that you can you can, there is a chance you'll miss this. Oh boy, we're so telling we're going to get to put Becky to use again. Yay! Cause oh, oh, I don't got any blue herbs. You know, we used to have to look at him. At least he doesn't have it quite as bad as Richard did. Yeah, no, his arm is. For fortunately, she mi fortunately Jan missed and hit me in my rock hard abs. I think I'm gonna be okay, but I think this I think the sixth ab is gonna have to be amputated. Oh, I thought you were about to say I came out unscathed, but unfortunately that poor snake's gonna have to see a dentist. And yes, this is one of our only <laughs> times in this entire game that we play as Rebecca. Yep. Yep. There is a second time, but. Um, spoilers, since we saved Richard, uh, we don't get to ever see that second so time. So, honestly, nope. now that I think about it, depending on if you save, save Richard or not, there is, uh, each game playthrough you'll play at least one time as Rebecca. Right. Yes. Well, the, well technically, because remember how I said, like, sometimes I've gone hit by Yawn and not actually get poisoned? She can <laughs> oh, look at that! Yeah. Stay too. Richard, Richard taught her to do that, too! <laughs> Uh, go go up go go dun, up dun, there dun, we go dun, dun. and yes I and yes I do realize I literally just did that for no reason other than to show that I could anyway let's keep yeah. moving so but you yeah, know I again I the first time I played this game I actually never played as Rebecca because I just didn't get poisoned that first Dumbo. time well but, uh, I mean lo and behold you get to play as her now oh, and she's yeah. really not that much different 
you know what? Screw it. I got the ammo, and uh, she had, she does have her own inventory that I don't have to worry about ever using again, so why not? Go down. I, actually, yeah, when you, stop, when you stop and think about it, it actually wouldn't make sense to kill off whatever you can with her in the original game anyway. Here, you want to be careful, though, because you could still very much turn them into Crimson, crimson Heads later. Yep. Also, that's... Right. I, go ahead. That, it's redundant to say, please die, because by definition, he's already dead. Please stay dead. <laughs> please die some more. Die some more, yeah, hey. So, and stay uh, wait, down. But, but, but as you're seeing here... More. But as you're seeing here, it, we really are just doing the exact same thing as I'm we did with Chris. I'm sorry, just had a dumb thought. I know uh, this would not, not have been possible considering that, that this in and of itself is an exploit. But say if it was intended to be intended as designed, it just... Scare skate? It, stair skate, I mean? I mean, yeah, no, stair skating. Bye, Richard. If it Bye, was Richard. actually intentional... If it was intentionally designed, it's like... I could totally see them input a little goof. Basically, basically at one point, like, you do that... You suddenly trip. <laughs> honestly, honestly, no way. I, I don't think... know. I, I don't know what. I'm sorry. I don't care what gender. I don't care what it, stair prat falling is funny. It is. Honestly, not going to lie. I just feel like the B. I just feel like the uh, stars. Stars just or the RPD technically, since you could do it in uh, the two remake. I just feel like the RPD just spends a lot of their budget on Heelys. I mean, this was I this know. was around the time when they were starting to become big. Yep. Capcom had Capcom had to come up with something to freaking counter Sega with them soap Glad shoes. Actually, I think this was just before the soap shoes stuff. Really? Let me look at what Sonic Adventure Two came out. Sonic Adventure Two came out in tw two thousand one to celebrate the Hedgehog's tenth anniversary. Then this came out just a. Then I want to say this came out a year after that. Because so, I remember the soap shoes coming out to uh -oh. help spawn to help promote Sonic Adventure uh, Two. I... Oh, he's really York's car's extended warranty. By the way, how, by the way, do you think those damn he's still fine? I wonder if soap shoes are still out there. I'll look them up. And if so, uh, can you print, can you paint no. them to look exactly like Sonic's? But your warranty, sir. Not today. Stay there for a second. Okay. And I know there's someone else coming for me. It's time to see the the other thing that uh, uh not the other thing. It's plenty oh. of freaking things. The next big puzzle shift. Oh boy. The painting room with the goddamn art judgmental crows. Mm -hmm. Although I, I feel like we I feel like this puzzle we upgrade from, do here. We upgrade from art judgment to stained glass judgment. I mean, oh, true. It, that's kind of a hard. That's definitely harder to judge. But uh, that being said, the puzzle here isn't really that much more complicated than the last one. You just have to uh, line. You just have to make sure that all the paintings that correspond with what's on that or no, that glass painting are the same color. Right, so here this guy's wearing a bracelet, and as you can already see over there on the first one, her bracelet is orange. So we're going to want to make sure that turns orange. This guy has a necklace. It's purple. And if you look down there, there's a blue switch. So basically, as you see, it, it just know your primary colors. We're, so we're, 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 just comp, we're just combining them. And that man's wearing we, a crown. We shall make it green. And then over here on this side, you see these are red switches that will turn on a red light. And yes, if you try to interact with it at any, if you try to interact with the final switch without doing this properly, the crows will start to like feast the and strike at you. The crows will be assholes you. again. You want to know yeah. the big irony in all of this? We're all colorblind. This, this, is, why, <laughs> this is why. Yeah, why would they do this that? This is why at the beginning of Village, there's an entire area you go through that are just like dead crows and people, like normal people would go like. Oh, that that's sad and creepy. People who played the Resident Evil franchise. Yeah! <laughs> they had it coming. <laughs> so I'm looking at here soap shoes, which people still call the grind shoes. Yeah. And I'm just throwing this out there. I'm I'm surprised they didn't try to bring them back for some weird cross promotional thing with the movie. Um they maybe might for, the the, for the next movie? Mm, maybe. Uh, but yeah, currently no other, no original soap shoe company shoes are being made right now. And for those wondering, yes, we are still rather mad that Puma did not make actual Sonic shoes like they promised. They didn't? Oh, that's oh, sad. But it, oh, but interestingly enough, uh, Matt, since you brought it up, apparently uh, in 2002, oh my god, the Healy Company uh, acquired the rights to soap shoes. Uh. <laughs> Well, wow. so the Healy Pete, so the Healy brand, they were the ones who made the whole soap shoe circle. thing. Well, son of a bitch. Wow. 
So all in all, so all in all, I mean, you know, freaking the police, the police department know how to do their scare, their stair skating. Keep saying scare skating <laughs> properly. As the R, as RPD would, as RPD say on a regular basis, stair skating forever. Yep. Which actually, speaking of, we get to get to the longest one in the game. Oh boy! Here we go. Again, right around here, I would just love to see him pratfall <laughs> off, off those stairs, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> bouncing off the wall. <laughs> So anyway, we, so as you've seen, we've now acquired every single death mask, so we can finally conclude chapter one. Let's put them all. As so we should the go. one without eyes. I'm sure that's nothing bad. Next one does not has holes in eyes, nose, and mouth. So basically everywhere. Like that guy in particular had it had it rough. This is a very poor mask. You hear something? Hm, nothing. Why is this the fucking one. fridge from PT? It does. It really this does, one actually. is where the notion where the notion be. Click. No, be more interesting is if you put the mask on where the thing should be. So like. That's what I thought. So it would be a perfect like like slot over or whatever. It. And the one without a mask. That one in particular needed to scream. Ah. ah. That was still su that was still such an interesting like it was an interesting book an interesting game that was made as a result oh, of the yeah. book. So because. Hello. Oh. This right There's here, ladies second. and gentlemen, would be our first tep man our technically first encounter and our only mandatory encounter with a crimson head. Which they're a lot faster and a lot more uh, agile. And this one in particular is a lot more has a lot more health than a typical crimson yeah, head. So I guess really drive home how much uh, the, the, how you're supposed to fight them because they're very resilient. Which I there which you know what you're in an open space and you're playing the HD version of the game so. These guys, it kind of makes this guy an absolute chump. No, absolutely. Because yeah. I can take care of him and... Okay, he's dead. Just want to make sure. Let's grab some and ammo. thankfully, once you kill a Crimson Head, you, like, don't have to worry anymore. That is it. So, uh... Come back as a... Lesson learned. Never give a zombie volcano sauce. Ah, oh, every time. They, 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 it was... It sounded like such a good idea. I command idea, this particular drop-off hot sauce to be really, really, really hot. <laughs> If that if, if that face had that he just fall he somehow Pratt falls up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and through that little visual, uh, I also opened this thing as a shortcut because now that I've done this, I never have to go down that scary hallway with all the do with all the dogs and zombies again. Aw, uh, so they'll never break through. So, so hang on to them simple old keys if you can. Again, I feel like I may have brought this up before, but I feel like one thing that would have really helped some of the uh, the item item management in this game is if you actually had a fucking key ring. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, honestly, it, I I will say four and eight kind of did it right, where like. No. What? Oh. Uh, Sit down. Ouch. But no. Uh, four. Oh, wrong door. Four and eight kind of did it right, where uh, like the uh, it, key. Key items are their own inventory, which I feel is how it should be done. I mean, I understand. I, I can understand wanting to make some things oh. part of your inventory, like the like the um, whatever slabs of stone or chess pieces you may have in your inventory. But just it's just the keys in general that feel like a necessary filler, considering the fact that mm -hmm. they're so tiny. Like you could literally put them in a right. ring if you had one. Right. I mean, I mean, we've been talking about. Like, I mean, you're gonna see in this. You're gonna see throughout this entire franchise how how just unevenly distributed pocket space goes around here. Oh, do especially you want to when carry... you're especially when you're a Redfield or a do you want to... Chambers. Do you want to carry this combat drum-fed shotgun, or do you want to carry this flower? <laughs> they both take up the same space. Would you believe? Yeah. Which, which it, so I'm gonna do it right now. Why, like... And with that. I don't show it off, but now if I were to, now that I've done this, if I were to ever go back into that hallway and try and leave, the door won't open. And Chris is a polite sort who does not know about barging through doors yet. <laughs> so, all right, let's finally head outside. But yeah, so uh, yeah. the what was it? so uh, it, it, like seven and uh, and the two remake kind of had the right idea of certain things take up a certain amount of space more than others. Right, Which I think makes sense. Yeah. Oh, wind press. There we go. I mean, this, this game, this game does a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, does a pretty good job with the uh, defensive items. Oh, oh hello. Hey, hi. Hey, stop Get off. On it's me. not a stick. Get off. How am I doing? Okay, I mean, okay. So fine. You know see. what? 
Technically, this is a stick. My boomstick. Oh. So, yeah. The, uh, ser- I, the series makes I'm plenty sorry. of people to have references I can, already. We well, I can imagine that. For it. I'm sorry. I can just imagine that now. Say if he did have the broken shotgun on him, he'd literally be all, Come on, boy. Come on. That's the stick. Whoosh. He probably, he could have done that. Yeah, that, that would have been, that would have been neat if they had things like that with like, you know, open-ended puzzle solutions depending on how crazy you got with the items hype to get you involved in this conversation a bit as we're running through this area a bit more i'm curious uh your thoughts or your your understanding excuse me your understanding of the whole um survival horror elements here like do you prefer like do you prefer the more actiony shooter stuff of more of like some of the more like mid-tier or mid, mid-release uh, Resident Evil games, or do you more like this whole puzzle point and click adventuring kind of thing? I'm going to have to say I'm going to contrast with a good number of people and say that I actually do like stuffed crust in my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't. I do like. I do, I do like stuffed crust, uh, but it depends on what it's stuffed with. Like I don't like. I don't. I, I've had it where I had someone try something really weird where they stuffed it with blue cheese. Mm. Yeah. Didn't work. Garlic sauce with like um, with mozzarella that would work a bit more. Oh, no, definitely. Me. You know, now that's how to think about it. Between go, between the RE the RE games that do go for the more survival horror aspects and the ones that you know encourage you to have as much oh, ammo as possible, I would probably prefer having a game where you could literally stuff your stuff your va- vacuum with just about any ghost you possibly can. Oh, got it. God damn you. Yeah. 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 Honestly, and not- calling out for Mario. Honestly, not. I also would not. I also, I also wouldn't mind a. I also wouldn't mind a Resident Evil game where I get to uh, jump into the air with dual pistols and enter a demon realm. I hate you. <laughs> that's also oh. true. I hate you all. And they're like, hey, that's cheap. You know what? But actually, no, that's, was, I'll, I'll, his I'll was at for... least referencing a game you like. You have to give him that. I'll go for. You know what? I'll go what further was with he that. Referencing I can... actually. Devil, Devil May Cry. Oh yeah, oh. which is based on their At RE engine. I, and you know what? Okay, you're referencing Devil Click. May Cry. I thought you were referencing <gasps> something worse. Looky, ooh, it's these yeah. dudes again. Hey, you found the rest of them. They were all right here all along, and so, uh, bloody enough, you actually don't even need to take them very far. Nah, it, it's it's a very self-contained puzzle. But yeah, you take the wind crest with you, and uh oh, oh trap! The crows are onto you. They know what you're okay. after. Hurry! So we're gonna. We're going to quickly e- examine the back side Ooh. of each of these, thus turning them into full-on switches. Uh, sorry, as soon as we're done with this, Matt, I'll, let you, I'll, get, I'll get back to what you're doing. And I do like your reference, by and... the way. I will say, I thought you were talking about Drake of the 99 Dragons, since that technically oh, is... Oh, jeez. Huh? I haven't even played that one. It's terrible. It's awful. Oh, damn. You I, know what? I'm you know I what? didn't play it. And... <gasps> Oh jeez! But I was and... like, actually wanted to go further with Wait. that joke. It's like you know another thing I would like to actually never mind. We'll just, just go ahead, we'll just put it. these away and, and pick up our dirty hairy special. Look at it, and oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 no, dude dude! Imagine if the crows noticed that and just just yoit the back of the from you. Yeah. And it's mine. Good okay. Point. Oh, somehow we avoided that. Hit. I can't believe That's it. That's cool. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, you let's, know, let's, let's I leave. Figured... I think yeah, he did it because the second he saw what you were reaching for, he's like, Oh, crunch! Like, oh, oh, geez. <laughs> Abort. By the way, nice. uh, just to let you know, the Resident Evil games mm. I like, I prefer the most have a good mix between horror and action. I want to say, at first I didn't like it as much, but the game I think I like the most now is the Resident Evil 2 remake. Because it gives you... When it comes to, like, your alternate weapons, aside from the handgun, it, like, it gives you a lot of handgun ammo, but that ammo is mainly used to stun the zombies and as a last resort. Whereas the rest of the ammo, it gives you just enough for the action parts. Right. I think that's that's kind of where that whole yeah. thing shines from, where, you know, you do still have your means of... For the most part, you want to worry about not killing everything in sight, but once you actually have the means to do so, do so. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That so, is that is interesting, but good sir, I believe you strayed too far from our topic. What were your thoughts on stuffed crust and pizza? Yeah, <laughs> that was not our topic, and you fucking know it. Uh, no, that's what that's what I brought up. Do you, uh, you want to know? Do you think? I actually don't know because I I'm in between. How about that? 
sad thing is I can't even answer because I've only had stuffed crust like once in exactly. my life. Exactly. No, same here. I, I, it, wor- it, wor- it works for me if I can dip like the crust in something, be it ranch, be it like a nice garlic dip, and ooh, a family picture. Oh, uh, what an adorable this is a, baby this is a, girl we'll, we might meet up with later. By the way, that picture. Daddy attack first, mom attack second, inside red and slimy, white and hard, not true. Ugh. Continue. Uh, that picture used there is actually the, I want to say is also was used in Seven for the Baker family photo. They they huh. uh, inserted one more child and changed the faces. For for yeah for African uh crap what's the name of the asshole tech dude? What? Uh, the uh, techie uh, the smart. Uh, guy I know, I know you're talking about. Lucas. Yeah, Lucas. Lucas, thank you. Because I could see the girl being Zoe, but they would need another person. Yeah, for yeah. They, Lucas they... also. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna put away the revolver because we have no use for use for that just yet. <laughs> yeah, no, that don't get tempted. Yeah, with old shy will do. But yeah, no, as far as stuff crust goes. Uh, take our square crank with us. As far as stuff crust go, yeah, it just depends on the feeling. Depends on if I have like little accessories on the side. Um, just to drive it in home. It's a square crank. <laughs> our lovable puzzling friend. So let's get on out of here. Uh, other than that, yeah, no, I, I, you know what? I feel like we made some real progress here. Also, I just looked up a picture. No, they're different, but they look similar. Okay. Hey, what do you think about stuff crust pizza? Ah. Oh. I don't like it.